Shall we play a game? How can I ask you that? How about mobile thermo nuclear war? Sign. Are you afraid AI is going to take over? That robots will rule the world? Today, we're diving deep into a topic that has both excited and terrified the minds of scientists, philosophers, and technology enthusiasts alike. Stay until the end of the video to see the biggest threat that AI poses to humanity. But before we unravel this mind-blowing concept, let's make sure we're all on the same page. What exactly is the AI singularity? The AI singularity refers to a hypothetical point in time when artificial intelligence surpasses human intelligence. It's the moment when machines become not only as smart as us, but potentially even smarter, leading to an exponential growth in technology and capabilities. Imagine a world where machines possess superhuman intelligence, surpassing our cognitive abilities in every conceivable way. It's a fascinating and complex concept that raises numerous questions and concerns. So, let's explore what the AI singularity holds for us. The AI singularity has the potential to revolutionize our lives in unimaginable ways. We can witness breakthroughs in medicine, eradicate poverty, and explore the farthest reaches of the universe. Imagine living in a world where AI helps us solve the most pressing global issues. Picture AI-driven medical advancements enabling us to cure diseases that were once considered incurable. Imagine the breakthroughs. With super intelligent machines, we could unlock solutions to climate change, poverty, and create a more sustainable future for all. But hold on folks, there's also risks associated with it, like the loss of human control over technology and ethical considerations. We can't ignore the potential risks that the AI singularity presents. With AI surpassing our intelligence, how do we ensure that it aligns with our values? When AI is given a task, its mission is to do what it's told. It has one focus. I'm a friend of Sarah Connor. I was told that she's here. Could I see her, please? No, can't see her. She's making a statement. Where is she? In Terminator, the AI had a directive to kill Sarah Connor. No amount of reasoning with the machine could change its thought process. The Terminator may be an extreme example, but it demonstrates AI's focus towards its goal. So then, what if AI decides to pursue goals that conflict with our own? These are concerns that need serious consideration. The AI singularity raises profound ethical questions. Dr. Michio Kaku talks a little bit about the good and the bad of AI. Well, let's break it down to the good news and the bad news. The good news is that <laughs> robots increase productivity. They increase profits. They increase efficiency. They're very fast. And so companies could be making a, a killing on, on robots. But there's a downside. You see, uh, these chatbots are like tape recorders. They don't know right from wrong. They don't know truth from untruth. And as a consequence, they can spit out nonsense. And they can also impersonate things. <laughs> now, imagine what happens if a chatbot impersonates Vladimir Putin and declares war on NATO. Oh. This brings to light the fact that developers must prioritize safety measures and ensure that artificial intelligence aligns with human values. Jeffrey Hinton, a former Google researcher, is considered the godfather of AI networks. This is his response when asked if computers are close to coming up with ideas to improve themselves. And they're going to make it work much better. Are we close to the computers coming up with their own ideas for improving themselves? Um, yes, we might be. And then it could just go fast. That's an issue, right. We have to 
think hard about how to control that. Yeah, can we? We don't know. We haven't been there yet, but we can try. Okay, that seems kind of concerning. Um, yes. But is that really what we need to be worried about? And some people say AGI could be massively dangerous to humanity because we just don't know what a system that's so much smarter than us will do. Do you share that concern? I do a bit. Um, I mean, obviously what we need to do is make this synergistic, have it so it helps people. And I think the main issue here, well, one of the main issues is the political systems we have. So I'm not confident that President Putin is going to use AI in ways to help people. It's particularly for things like autonomous lethal weapons. Okay. We'd like yeah. to have something like Geneva Conventions, like chemical weapons. People decided they were so nasty they weren't going to use them, except just occasionally. But, I mean, basically they don't use them. People would love to get a similar treaty for autonomous lethal weapons, but I don't think there's any way they're going to get that. I think if Putin had an auton autonomous lethal weapons, he would use them right away. Mr. Hinton brings up a good point that enthusiasts of AI singularity often ignore. It's human nature that we should be worried about. When asked if he thinks AI will take over the world, he responds. This is like the most pointed version of the question, and you can just laugh it off or not answer it if you want, but what do you think the chances are of AI just wiping out humanity? Can we put a number on that? It's somewhere between um, 0% and 100%. <laughs> okay, so I'm not it. I think, I think it's not inconceivable. Okay. If you are just worried about other countries using AI for nefarious purposes, think again. You started to talk about the concerns that bringing this technology to warfare could present. What, what are your concerns? Oh, that um, the Americans would like to replace their soldiers by autonomous, by AI soldiers, and they're trying to work towards that. Uh, and what, what evidence do you see of that? I'm on a mailing list from the US Defense Department. I'm not sure they know I'm on the mailing list. <laughs> One thing is very clear in regards to developing AI. It's crucial to establish robust frameworks to maintain control and mitigate any potential risks that may arise. Indeed, we need to approach AI singularity with caution and responsibility. It's essential to strike a balance between embracing the immense benefits of superintelligence while safeguarding other human values. For sci-fi fans, this all sounds like a movie plot. In Westworld, AI was manageable until it gained a consciousness. Are we there yet? For now, ChatGPT and other AI are not going to take over the world. The biggest threat, however, just like any advanced technology, is that humans take over and direct AI to do unethical, immoral, or unjust things that hurt instead of heal.